Oh no, we're trapped in a glitch. Where are we supposed to go? Please help. Help us escape. Help. What is up guys? It's your favorite YouTube commentator, Ghost Robo, and we're back with more Little Big Planet gameplay. And my little sack was a little bit shy today, so he's hiding from you guys, but here he comes, donning my favorite costume from the collector's edition, the giant cobra. Um, and as we progress through this glorious level, I want to say awesome job on the 65 likes. Well, they only take like four hours to get 65 likes there on episode four. Um, so for this episode, we're gonna up the stakes a little bit to 100 likes to get episode 6 even faster. I know that's a big number, but you guys can do it. You're doing a fantastic job, and I know that we will get there very quickly. You all guys always surprise me. I'm always surprised by how fast we get there, and I know this episode will be no different. Look at us pick up all these little jelly cakes or whatever they are, and you may be thinking, this level is making me super hungry, but it's making me hungry not for any sort of sweets or desserts, because actually, uh-oh, Negativitron, hold that thought. Shoo shoo! Dropping in some sack bots here, and we need two players to get this high. Um, but before we take on these sack bots, destroy those minis by jumping on them or hitting their brains. Oh yes, look at that shot. <laughs> Alright, so we'll jump on this one. And we took care of that pretty handily. I mean, as we're fighting these sack bots, I am on a pretty uh, strict diet. And granted, it's all self imposed, um, it's all my own, my own choice, and, and no specific health reasons forcing me to do this. But I eat no wheat, no sugar no dairy, um, and that becomes pretty restrictive when you think about it. Now, I have been doing this for about seven years, and so I'm very happy with the way I eat. I find lots of foods absolutely delicious, um, but that's the way things go for me, so it's very hard for me to find you know, good stuff to eat out and about. Um, but I, uh, I was born with a slightly weak immune system, so it has helped a lot in terms of just avoiding common colds and simple things like that. Now, I hardly ever get sick. Um, but what I want to know is, what is your favorite food, and what does watching these levels make you think of? I would have to say, lamely enough, <laughs> that my favorite food is probably green Granny Smith apples. And I know that sounds pretty pathetic to most of you, but I don't know. It's what I really enjoy. And so let me know what you enjoy most of all, and what this level, this whole world makes you think of. I have no idea where we're supposed to go here. There's a big button. Oh, here we go. There's some more of these little jelly blobs. So let's carry them. As we, Uh-oh. Okay, so we have to jump over the bounce pads, make sure we don't hit them. Jump. No! And it popped. Um, the comments were really great last episode. We talked about, you know, burglary and, and what you would do if a, a robber came into your house. And some of you, actually a lot of you, decided that you were going to go with the uh, the violent approach. I saw lots of people say, I'll pull out my pistol. Or I would do this or that. Or I'd attack them. Or I'd hide my Xbox in the car. And blah, 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 blah. As we take on a giant sackbot <laughs> monstrosity here. My favorite, uh, my favorite comment, though was from Sublorgan, who said that he would probably turn on death metal really loud and come running at them with some creepy mask, and I thought that was just a fantastic, uh, fantastic response. I didn't see that one coming, and I'm sure most of you didn't either. It's a totally random, out-of-this-world response, but it's one that I really like a lot. Great comments. Again, I love reading those, so keep them coming. We pick up a whole lot of new parts. Where are we supposed to go from here? Let's pull this switch, blow him up, and there stops the runaway train. And Victoria says, well, I never, I suppose I'll have to make a new train to the house. All right, so we're going, apparently, to Victoria's house. That sounds cool. And you'll notice that my leaderboard is starting to fill up. A lot more people are playing this game. There's always someone to play co-op with if you're interested in playing with a random person. Um, but I kind of like to run solo with this stuff. I'm going to be playing with somebody, you know, who I, who I don't really know. Um, and if you would like to get to know me better, and you want to be more involved with the whole Ghost Robo operation of goodness and fun... Um, why don't you come join me on Facebook? It's www.facebook.com slash askghostrobo. That's A-S-K, Ghost Robo. And I actually only have 26 friends right now, so let's see if we can increase that number. Um, because I, just like Sackboy at the beginning of this video, I'm feeling pretty lonely over there with only 26 friends. And I post a lot of things. I post, obviously, my videos there, but also thoughts on, you know, games I'm playing currently that may not be being featured in videos. Um, so as we start up Brainy Cakes, you may want to go check that out just to see my opinions on some other games that I'm currently playing that aren't up on, on my channel. Um, and just to give you a, a preview, what's coming, so say you think, oh, Little Big Planet, once, once that's done, I don't know if I'm going to be, you know, what, what's coming up next or what games I'm looking forward to. 
I've got a lot in the works. We have, in February, a whole ton of stuff. Now, first of all, we have Dead Space 2 coming next week, which I'm super excited about. But in February, there's going to be Marvel vs. Capcom 3, which is absolutely going to be awesome. There's Bulletstorm and Killzone 3. Those are the three main ones I plan on hitting. I also will be hitting Two Worlds 2, which comes out next year. And what I want to know from you is if there's any specific game that you want to see covered in February, please let me know and I'll see what I can do. I pretty much buy every game that comes out. I'm a huge, huge gamer, hugely into the whole buy it on launch day type thing. So let me know what you'd like to see. And if, if I'm covering what you, you want to see, let me know which game you're most excited for so I can prep some awesome content for that. But there's some more meanies up ahead. And Da Vinci is back. One of you in the comments said that you think every character in this game is going to be pretty creepy. And that's a bit uh, frightening for me. Because Da Vinci and Victoria are creepy enough. Grab one of these Parashao. You need to grind these rail lines like a young person. Alright, so... Oh yes, new mechanics galore. Wow, this game is really, really a fun surprise. Um, I really like this Cobra costume, probably mainly because of the long tail that he has going on there. Kind of always following around, getting in the way, but I like it. Now, we're now behind the world, and so we're going to pick up all these little uh, stickers that we need to grab for later costumes and later inventions. You'll notice that I am switching my costume every episode, and I plan to continue to do that. I'll throw in some of the Collector's Edition costumes, as well as some costumes that I've created myself uh, from materials that we've picked up here along the way as we slide down. And this level, and while it still retains, you know, the whole, oh, the whole cake and, and kind of fruity theme, I really like that it's, it's drastically different, right? All of a sudden we're outside, there's fountains, there's these little lacy uh, snowflakes, and it feels almost like a different world. You know, Little Big Planet 1 seemed to have a very consistent theme, but also consistent level structure. And so far, if this is any indication as we take on this, uh, this cupcake monster here, um, we're going to be finding all sorts of greatness in these worlds. So we're picking up more and more stickers. I like that we can throw these things into stickers. It makes our, our whole navigation process a little bit easier. We don't have to fret so much about, oh, where are we going to get that one or how are we going to obtain it as they throw these little puffballs everywhere for us to throw. And if I, if I quiet down here, you'll hear the music is, is just absolutely grand. And we need to go back and get one of these uh, little cherry things here, carry up with us. So we'll take one. There's lots of uh, vocals going on in the background. I, uh, I'm really, I'm really kind of into the music. You know, it's funny because my uh, my musical tastes probably wouldn't match up with this game. But when I'm here in the game, I just, I just really get into it. And I really like it. And I've got headphones on obviously while I record, and it just really is, is pretty atmospheric as we stand here and die from the poisonous goo. So let's grab one more of these things and throw them up here. Can we throw them from here? No. All right. So. We're going to go and just grab one to obtain one of these stickers. I don't want to spend too much time here in this little platforming section. But let's jump. Throw it. Yes. Oh, yes. We're holding on. Awesome. Very cool. God. <laughs> I did not know that was coming. This game is really great. Surprising me all the way. Jump. Go, little cobra. And we hold on for dear life and jump again. Get up. No. Come on. Get up. There we go. Cleared it like a champ. And we've got more of these Sackbot guys. And I didn't really... Really like the combat, if you could call it combat in Little Big Planet One, because it was mainly just avoid these uh, awkward arms, avoid these spikes, and then go and jump on their heads. But now that we have projectiles, and I'm assuming later we may get something else to attack them, it just seems like it's it's going to be coming. You know, combat becomes a little bit more exciting, a little bit more fun. Let's let's go, Ghost Robo. Get your get your aiming on. Let's hit these guys right here. Boom. There we go. Way to uh, way to suck it up, Mr. Cobra. Take him out like we need to. Now we got to make sure that we really get this one. Otherwise, we're going to be running back down for nothing. Yes, okay. And do we need to get another one? We do. Looks like we're going to have to pick up one more. And run all the way back. Man, that's still one thing I'd like to see improved in Little Big Planet 2. Sony, can we get a patch that says quicker running? Like a code or something even just to make Sackboy move? No! Sackboy move just a little bit faster because it's kind of annoying that he runs like a slow turtle. But that's alright. We'll make our way through these levels. I've heard, got a lot of requests from people saying, hey, I want to play co-op with you. I mean, we can definitely set that up. Um, I'm, I'm interested in doing some co-op levels with some people, um, so stay tuned for more details on that. You know, I, I have uh, a pretty cool pretty cool contest coming up, so really it's probably already up by now if you're watching this on Thursday or later, um, but you're going to want to really stay tuned um, to my channel and watch for a video that has contest in the title and, then go, and go for that because it's going to be pretty great. I really, I'm really excited about it and I think you will be too once you find out what's going on. I'm, I'm kind of expecting it to surprise 
a lot of you, and that has me even more excited because I love surprises. I don't know how you are with games or how you are with like gifts at Christmas or your birthday, but I always like to be surprised. Um, no matter you know, no matter if I even really want the item, I would rather give you five things that I want and say, hey, pick one and surprise me, than you know know exactly what I'm going to get. Um, and I'm, I'm the same way with video games. I really enjoy a game more when I don't know much about it. I like to go in kind of kind of clean slated with a clean slate and just really enjoy the game firsthand for what it's worth, not not shaded or jaded or clouded by anyone's perspectives. We gotta make sure that we get in a good little group here. Uh-oh. And we die from the goo. What are we supposed to do up here? Things are getting more intense, and what I really like is that the music really builds with it. So if you can hear, um, the music is, is a lot more, like, just kind of got a little bit faster paced as we encounter more and more bad guys and more and more of these traps, and that's a very nice little touch. Um, the combat... Again, I don't know that it's necessary, I kind of enjoy the exploration a little bit more so far, but it's not too bad. These levels just seem slightly more cumbersome um, than some of the other ones. So we can bounce over this, we don't really need to hold on to uh, any of our little uh, cherries, and it looks like we're going to need one back here. So let's run back and grab it. Arr, they should have a sign that says, you need cherry pie. Maybe we should just know better and grab one every time, um, because it seems like we've needed one every single step of the way here. So let's drop down, pick up this sticker, avoid these spikes, run through the chocolate snail. <laughs> I like all the liquid flowing in the background. Um, it kind of uh, kind of reminds me of Portal 2, which is going to have all sorts of goo flying all over. And of course, though that game comes out in a few months, you can count on me to be your, your, your best coverage of that game. I mean, really guys, that's what I'm shooting to do. Any game that comes out, I don't want you to think that this is the Little Big Planet channel, or this is the PS3 channel, or the DCUO channel, or the Call of Duty channel. I want you to know that this channel, Ghost Robo, this whole this whole operation is going to be your main <laughs> main support of uh, cool videos and main supply of fun throughout the year, throughout the gaming throughout the gaming release schedule. We need to make sure we get a, a jump here. Ah, we didn't do it. I guess we have to actually drop off as opposed to jump. So, Cobra Sack Boy, use your Dojo Master skills, run through, and drop. There we go. All right, now where do we need to go? Oh, it looks like, okay, we got to go back this way. Push up. Come on. I don't think that's happening, guys. I guess we didn't have to go down this far. I was just going down there because I figured, hey, ride the roller coaster to the end, but apparently we must get off this short stop here. No, I guess we don't need to do that either. What is going on? Where are we supposed to go? I'm having some, uh, some navigatory difficulty here so let's see what do, I want to get up there I understand that okay maybe we have to get to that last little bounce platform and that's gonna shoot us up that's all I can really think of right now so we're here okay let's bounce back 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 yes all right perfect good work there is creepy Victoria enshrined as a garden sculpture and we are gonna leave that sticker because who needs them who needs all these stickers watch all the stickers I miss will be the ones you need to activate a specific little uh, little challenge Okay, so I guess we're going to need another one of these tarts or pies or muffins or cakes or whatever they are. So let's hold it in here and see what happens. Oh, that's very clever. Gosh, this game just keeps hitting you one after another with cool ideas. It never fails never fails a surprise, and I think that's that's something that games get away from. You know, you know, kind of know what to expect from Call of Duty, and they'll throw in a wow bang moment or a, a cool scripted event, but you never really... I don't know, I just feel like I'm not very surprised, genuinely surprised by games, and, you know, with the Grabinator and those sort of things. I have been genuinely like, wow, this is really cool, and I'm excited to see what's next, and you don't get that with most games. They can still be a great game and a great experience, but some games are just like, you know, I know what's happening here. Like Halo Reach, great game, fantastic. I love a lot of the environments. I love the multiplayer, but, like, you basically know what you're getting into, and Little Big Planet 2 seems so far to be, like, breaking that mold and saying, hey, we, Ghost Robo, are going to give you something that you don't expect, and that's really awesome. So I'm hoping we can at least clear this one level. It's taking quite a while this episode. Um, hopefully we can get to the end of it. It's one of the longer levels, probably the longest level here in Victoria's world. We've got another monster. Let's throw some cherry tarts at him. Whoa, there we go. Boom. All right, and what do we need to do? We've got a big gap. All right, and a bounce pad opens up. Perfect. Perfect. More stickers, more material. We'll carry this cherry tart because it seems like we always need one. And I'm not very familiar with cherry tarts because I don't need that kind of stuff, but, you know, it seems like something that could come in handy in real life as well. So, ooh, so much for my chimney garden. But at least we made it to the house, my almond croissant. Whoa, he's got the hots for Victoria. Watch out, Victoria. Da Vinci's kind of a creeper. We can attest to that firsthand. Let's throw and get that. I want this cupcake sticker. 
Oh, it's a new object, even better. New object for creation. And as we ascend the cookie oven, it looks like we're gonna have to wrap this up. So thank you very much for watching, and until next time, guys, we will see you later.